All right, so in this video today, we're going to compare, just do some light testing, nothing too heavy. We're going to compare the Nocta Macro Simplex, which is a metal detector around that $250, $300 range. Uh, and then we're going to face it off with the Dr. Rotec MXTR, uh, uh, which is around about $100, $150 um, metal detector. I mean, you know, the, the uh, Simplex is a more powerful machine. It does have some additional features that the OTEC doesn't have. Um, you know, ground balancing is a big one. You know, wireless uh, headphones option is another. Um, you know, the, there's a lot of the features are overlapping. Uh, you've got discrimination modes. Uh, overall, the Simplex is, uh, is an entry level metal detector, just like the OTEC, but it certainly has more horsepower under the hood. So why don't we take a look at some light testing? We're gonna start off with some general basic objects um, like iron and aluminium and we'll work our way through some coins into gold alrighty so we're going to do a quick test of the OTEC NT XR and this is uh, half sensitivity maybe we'll uh, put the sensitivity up no, I don't think we need to actually This is the first one is a nail. Seventeen. Next one's an aluminium can. Seventy-five. Next one's a bubble cap. Twenty-three. Next one's a uh, one cent. Next one's a uh, a quarter clad. Next one's uh, a 14 karat gold ring. All right. This next one's going to be a simplex. Nocta macro. It's going to be in field mode. It's 2.78. I'm going to take the uh, gonna take the uh, sensitivity down. So this is going to be the nail. It's going to be the aluminium can. Always likes that. This is the uh, bottle cap. 75. This is the uh, one cent. This is the uh, 25 cents clad. This is the uh, point carat gold ring. And the third is there. Alrighty, it's just a quick comparison between the two. Alright, so this next test is going to be the uh, OTEC against the Simplex. And uh, I'm just going to bury 25 cents modern clad coin at around 3 inches deep. It's going to be coin up as well. So. I'm gonna go over this with a simplex in field mode. Yeah, it's hitting that. And the night is there. Yep, solid. It's around four inches depth it's saying. That's good. I'm gonna go with the OTEC next. Yeah. Reading it clearly. Just reading that clear as day. Alrighty, let's uh, put put a put the uh, fourteen carat gold ring in. See how it likes that. Do the sim. Uh, we we'll do the uh, OTEC first. All right. Just getting something there. It's a lower conductor. Definitely getting something. 
So get in field mode. You're ready. Yep, 32. 28. All right, oh, forgetting it. All right, it's this next test. We're gonna put a nail next to the ring. I'm gonna see how it performs. So. Ready, put it next to it. There we go. Get ready. Do the OTEC first. It's fully expected to struggle in here, but we'll see. Yeah, it's just iron. Nope. Yeah, it's going to struggle with that. That's as simple it's going to do. Just picking up the iron there. See it squeaking it there. It's hitting the gold ring there. There's the uh, there's the nail. It's the 04. It's getting through it. All right, so there you go. You got some with some light testing there of the uh, Simplex versus the Otec. I'm gonna do some more videos where we're gonna do some more deeper challenges uh, on on both. Uh, you know, uh, metal detectors, um, you know, you saw in the video, um, you know, the OTEC, you know, suffers when iron is next to uh, non-ferrous material uh, such as gold. It, it just, you know, had a lot of struggle there. You know, obviously the, the, the simplex has those extra options, has those modes like part two. I was in field mode, so the um, recovery speed isn't that great, but it was enough to d distinguish between uh, gold and iron and that's something I noticed that OTEC doesn't have uh, any ability on or any kind of programs really uh, to do with recovery speed. Um, and that's, um, you know, uh, something that will struggle if it has iron next to uh, something of value. And obviously in that demonstration, it, it proved that it just couldn't get past that, that uh, iron signal there, which was a rusty old nail. So anyway, uh, if you want some more challenges between these two products, uh, you know, I looked on YouTube and, you know, I do think the OTEC is a good entry level um, metal detector. If you're very budget conscious and you're unsure about, you know, where you want to be with the hobby, maybe you just want to not invest too much money. I, I think it is a great option. Uh, I've certainly dug up some, some fun things with it. Uh, and it definitely can penetrate that ground and, and get some good things out. You know, if you do have a little bit more extra cash um, and you still want to get into metal detecting and you're a little bit more convinced it's going to be something of more of a full-time hobby for you rather than something you just want to test out and see if it's even something you're going to do past the first few hunts then maybe the simplex is the way to go um you know i would say if you have extra cash on top of that you want to look at the vanquish as well uh, and uh the, the 540 series um you know you're going to want to compare that against the simplex so anyway let me know in the comments below if you think this video was any, of any help if you want me to do any more tests as well with the OTEC I'm going to line up some other tests uh, maybe do some deep deep target tests and see how it works there and uh, see the difference between the ground balancing as well and between different conditions so thanks for watching